How's it going guys? So I figured uh, this is worth actually checking a video out and doing a video <coughs> for this. And uh, we've got our first kind of like actual explanation of the Dino TLC Pass for ARC. If you don't know what this is, uh, TLC of course, Tender Loving Care. Uh, basically they're going to take a lot of old stuff and try to bring it on par with the newer stuff that has come out. Uh, a lot of old dinosaurs don't really have a use or their models are pretty dated. And uh, they went ahead and uh, decided to give us some info here. So they said that it's going to come out multiple phases. Uh, the first phase is due out. Uh, it's going to take place during the week of February 18th for PC. Uh, they did not give a date for consoles. I'm sure it won't be too far after that. This is the same time they'll also be rolling out the turret limits on official servers. So that's another thing to keep in mind there. And so basically what they're going to be doing <coughs> is changing a couple of dinosaurs here and they are, well, creatures, I should say. And the first one you're going to see here is the dire bear and it is a tremendous difference. The dire bear, in my opinion, has always looked kind of froofy and goofy. It kind of looked like a big chow, uh, which is a type of dog, if you don't know. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it wasn't very scary looking. Uh, the new one is... They did a great job. It's got that kind of like raised hair on the back. The teeth look scary. The face doesn't look ridiculous. And you know, the, the, this type of bear was more like a cave bear. So it doesn't have as long as a snout as modern bears do. So that stubby face has always looked really awkward. And they did a really good job in keeping the proper look, but also making it not look so goofy. Uh, I think it's a pretty amazing job. But uh, what's really cool about the bear is when you're riding a dire bear, you'll be immune to bee attacks. That means uh, if you attack a hive, you bust into one accidentally, whatever, you won't be attacked. Instead, they'll attack the bear and not uh, dismount you. The other thing is the bear will also be able to harvest honey from beehives without attracting bees and will get you two times what you would normally be able to get by hand. So the bear now has a huge use and that is honey, 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 honey. So that's actually really cool there. The next one up here is the Procoptodon, um, or you know, the kangaroo, as most people know it. And if you take a look at these before and after pictures, it it's such a ridiculously crappy looking model. I'm sorry, but like it this that face looks so low res, so awful. <laughs> Those dead eyes. They did an amazing job at redoing this. The other thing I have to say is they said the fur may not be 100% done, but man, the fur looks amazing on these creatures. It no longer looks like weird feather patches of fur, uh, which is pretty cool. But let's get to what they're changing about the kangaroo. So they said it's always been like a transportation thing. So what they want to do is you can, instead of having a second rider, you can put a baby dinosaur in the pouch or any small creatures. So small creatures, I'm assuming anything you can pick up and put on your shoulder or anything you can hold in your hands uh, is what that means. Uh, we'll have to wait and see when it actually comes out, you know, what the exact list is, but that's kind of the idea there. The other thing is kangaroos kick. That's what they do. A kick from a kangaroo is gonna pretty much be worse than a kick from a horse. And uh, those things are powerful, beastly, muscly creatures. And this kangaroo never had a kick. And it's really weird. So unfortunately, we don't know what the kick looks like yet. I hope it does it kind of like the whole, you know, what people see on TV kind of thing with kangaroos where they lean on their tail and kick you with both feet. I really hope it's something like that. But it's going to be pretty awesome that it has a kick. And they said that kick is going to be pretty uh, burly and even be able to knock back large creatures. So that's actually a really cool thing there. Next up, we've got the Gigantopithecus, or as everyone lovingly knows it as Bigfoot. And this is another one where its face is so cartoony ugly. I don't, I don't even know what to say. I've always thought it looked goofy, and the new model looks like they took a face straight out of, like, Planet of the Apes. It looks amazing. They did such a good job. Uh, I'm super excited to see this one. But there's a lot of improvements to the Gigano as well. Its attacks will actually be armor degrading. 
That means as it continues to hit you, it's going to wear your armor down faster and faster. Uh, this is only for the Gigano. I guess they said it won't apply to the Yetis, which is like the snow version of it in, in you know certain areas. And um, yeah, so that's kind of a cool little PvP thing added to it. They also said its movement needs work. They want to give it the ability to jump. And it's going to have the ability to use and climb zip lines. So I assume you can go up them and down them while riding on it. And it can follow you on them. So that is really cool. Um, I hope when they hit all of the primates that are in Ark that they give them the zip line ability. And they give it a couple other creatures. Because that's just going to be really, really cool. Uh, it's something that was exciting to me. The other thing that says they're going to fix its throw. It's going to be a lot more like the Carcanos or the Giant Crab, where you have kind of like an aiming uh, reticle and you can see where you're roughly going to be throwing it. And it will also have the ability to grab and throw smaller creatures. How that's going to work, I'm not entirely sure. If it's a command or if you can do it while you're riding it, I, I don't know. That's, that's going to be kind of weird. We're just going to have to see how that works. But nonetheless pretty cool next up is the dire wolf and the wolf has always looked kind of lame and uh, its howl is awful it's so wimpy uh, wolves are supposed to strike fear into your heart you're about to be swarmed by a wolf pack it's pretty much over and uh this they have the wimpiest little dog whale i've ever heard now i believe there's gonna be a new howl because they've said there's gonna be changes to, to the howl i hope that includes what it sounds like because they weren't very specific on that but they said they're going to give it a passive buff with smell. And they said wolves are very keen on smell, so that's something they want to do. So first, the howl is going to be a pack buff. They're thinking about a five-minute buff, and you won't be able to you know, activate all the time. But to make up for it, they're strengthening the buff of where it will make the wolf pack even stronger. And another bonus is when the alpha howls, the others will howl. So it's kind of, I guess, a stacking buff is what they're hinting on there. We'll have to see... Uh, how that goes out they said wild wolves will be able to use that so that makes them a little scarier out there uh in the wild the other thing is the nose so they're going to say it's going to be able to sniff out people and creatures with less than half health well 50 percent health and uh it'll be indicated via an icon of some sort and it's going to be kind of like a hunter's instinct uh then there's also going to be a sniff ability to indicate nearby explorers notes and to detect stealth or buried creatures. So yeah, the, the wolf has become a lot more useful now. It's uh, kind of a power, powerful mid-range scout, I guess, is what they're going for. So that's gonna be pretty cool. Uh, makes me a little sad though. I feel like now it's better than the Ravagers, so we'll have to see. But hey, the, we're not gonna be seeing any tightrope uh, walking direwolves anytime soon, I don't think. And lastly, we're gonna finish up with the king the Tyrannosaurus Rex, and uh, I'm not 100% on the look of this one, I have to say. He's a little bit different. Uh, I'm not sure. Some things are better, other things aren't. Like, its head's no longer ridiculously large, which is good. Uh, the T-Rex always looks like it's going to fall over uh, from its head weighing too much. So, I, I don't know there. But it, it still looks cool. It looks a little more mean from the front, less lumpy, which I think is nice. It has that more predator look to it. And uh, they said right now it's, you know, very commonly used in PvP and boss fights and PvE. And they, they don't want to make it too much stronger. But they, they did agree with a lot of the community where that its movement is just awful. So they said it's going to have better movement, uh, better climbing. It's not going to get stuck on tiny little rocks. And it should be able to climb up steeper slopes. So that's kind of cool there. They also said they're going to change the roar to where you can actually target something and it will force them to literally poop themselves. <laughs> and it's going to have a cooldown, uh, so you can't, you know, abuse it. But uh, yeah, you can roar at something, make it poop itself, and essentially it's frozen in space for a moment there. So that's how that's going to work. And uh, I think that's pretty interesting. Uh, T-Rex can literally make you poop your pants. So that, that's actually, uh, I like it. It's silly, it fits Ark, and it's, it, it's fun. But uh, that's pretty much all the information they've given us so far. For Phase 1, they said they're also looking to do changes uh, physically to the Spino, Sarco, Carno, Raptor, female Megaloceros, that's the deer, or elk, whatever you might want to call it, 
uh, Plesio and the RG. So whether those make it into phase one or not, they aren't sure, but they are also doing that there. So that pretty much covers it, guys. Uh, sound off down in the comment section below about how you feel about the new changes. You like them? Is there anything you don't like about the physical looks? What do you love about the physical looks? Just, you know, shoot away and uh, let's start some combo. I don't know about you guys, but I'm very excited to see some of the old guys get a nice touch up. And I can't wait to see what the next batch is going to look like. And hey, February, you know, that's not too far away. About a month, we can expect it. So we'll see. You know, you know how Wildcard is with their, their release dates. <laughs> so, you know, let's say maybe early March. But hey. That's not too far away, and I'm pretty excited about it. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll come back as soon as I have more information like this. Uh, make sure you click that notification bell so that you don't miss any updates or any of our Let's Plays. And uh, please leave a like, share it with a friend if you want to help me out, and we will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.